Welcome everybody to my latest video. For this video and for possibly this series of videos, I'm going to be um, basically chronicling my um, quest to get this joystick fixed up. Now, I've tried to order one. In fact, I did order one. However, the damn thing is near impossible to get. I'll probably explain in another part of this video or possibly in a future video, I don't know. But for right now, since actually getting the part is nearly impossible, I'm going to go ahead and decide to try and fix this one up and at least have a temporary fix. Now, Luke Morse 1, he suggested I just, you know, uh, put a button here, use some Bondo, etc. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Now, I got these three buttons right here, and I was trying to figure out which one would be best to go in there, and I decided to go along with this red one. Now, initially, the button would not fit right in here, so I ground down some of the sides, as you can see right here, and let me show you how it eventually fits. Okay, here we are right here. I gotta ground down uh, this button a little bit more, but as you can see, fits pretty good and it'll make a decent jump button. It's a little too thick right now because I can hear this handle cracking. But, you know, I'm probably going to go along with this one, ground it down some more so it fits in perfectly, and then go from there. Okay, now the first thing I need to do in order to get access to this joystick is I need to remove all these Torx security bolts. And as you can see, I got some there, up there, there's some over here, there, there's another one right there, and I got some on the bottom too. Now if you look right here, these aren't regular bolts. Like I said, they're Torx security bolts. And if you see right in the middle, there's that metal nub, or whatever you want to call it, and that actually prevents you from using something like an Allen wrench to open up these bolts. Now, how do you open these, these bolts? You get what's called a Torx wrench and hopefully it's focusing in and as you can see the various sizes are shaped like a star and there's a hole in the middle and that hole allows that nub to go in while you um, unscrew it so I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting all these bolts out and that will actually show the inside of the control panel Okay, here we are. As you can see, I removed all the security Torx bolts. I got the control panel right here. It's been removed from the cabinet, obviously. Here's the front of it. It's actually upside down. The reason is, is that it's standing on the upper portion. It just makes it a whole lot easier. So this connection right here actually goes to this one. Uh, the start button, this goes to the start button, you can see right there. That goes to this one, and that thing right there goes to the joystick. Now, as you can see, you got these wires right here, and this looks like it went up into the joystick, and it probably powered the button that was right here. Okay, I got the control panel out, uh, got some better lighting, but I thought some of you guys might be interested in seeing how this joystick works. And as you know, it goes up and down. Now when you go in the drive position, see how it's clicking the cherry switch like that? That's how it looks on the other side too, only when you push down, the cherry switch position is reversed, so that little metal arm is actually over here. So when you push down, that's how, or actually, yeah, when you push down, that's how you go in reverse and how it registers with the harness. Forward, reverse. There's a quick look on this side. I got one hand holding a flashlight, so I can't function it. But, it's pretty interesting how this joystick is. And this wire, where was it? Sorry about that. 
this wire looks like it went in through here or actually I haven't figured out where it went in through but somehow I gotta get it in and up so I can attach it to the button over here I'll eventually figure that out alright guys just showing you what the joystick the gear shift looks like I had to remove it in order to install the wiring for the button okay probably can't see it but there's a hole right there if you see that silver spot in the middle that's actually a hole that leads to the inside of the gear shift so I gotta get the wiring through there up the shift right here and out to where the button's gonna rest that's it man game over man it's game over <laughs>